Hey, this is Steve Jewin from AngryMarks.com, and in honor of National Bobblehead Day, I'm about to unbox a package, but before I do, I should note that this video is not sponsored. I was given this product entirely free and not told what to write about it, so you know in advance that this was a sample given to us to unbox on National Bobblehead Day. So let's go ahead and do that right now, shall we? Let's get this package open and split the packaging across the top and on the sides here so we can lift it out and then I will show you what this video is all about and what do we have in here but a UFC Ultimate Fighting Championship Ultiman bobblehead the original logo seen at UFC 1 before they were even numbered when it was just an ultimate fighting championship event in Denver Colorado and who knew if they were ever going to have another but they had a grand idea and they tried to keep doing that idea for years and years to come and it's still around today 25 plus years later so you've seen the box well, let's see the bobblehead, shall we? Hopefully it won't be too hard to shake loose. That styrofoam is pretty tight. I don't want to destroy the box getting it out of here. Maybe if I give it a little push. Okay, now I think it's, yeah, now it's starting to flake off on me. That's the problem with styrofoam. I'm not complaining, I'm sorry. This was given to me gratis, so a little bit of flaky styrofoam to deal with is not the worst thing in the world but still it's not easy to get out of here either so something to consider with your product design is how tight the box is around the styrofoam and the mess that it ends up making so here is the ultiman Kinda looks like Tito Ortiz, don't you think? That's the bubble action. You can see the original Ultimate Fighting Globe there. The paint is slightly uneven on the top and bottom. Looks like it might have been painted in a little bit of a hurry. I mean, if you're looking at it from a distance, you're probably not gonna notice that, but you know, it, these are things that I noticed. I noticed it on the Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather bobblehead that there was some places where the paint just didn't seem to be super well applied. Established 1993, as we mentioned, 25 year anniversary. What do we have on the bottom? Let's read this part. This is not a toy decorative use only. I think we can all agree on that. Developed for Zufa by Out of the Box Promotional Marketing Limited Liability Corporation. So thank you again to them and thank you to the National Bobblehead Museum for allowing us to unbox this for National Bobblehead Day. You can see the UFC logo. Again, paint's kind of not evenly applied there. It's bleeding over the F onto the globe. Not sure if anything could have been done about that given it's such a tight window of space to paint. And I'm sure with the amount of these that they had to make, they probably were painting a lot of them all at once. So that may just be unavoidable. Paintwork on the globe seems to be okay. Not noticing a huge amount of bleed over in any of those spots. And it's got good bottle action. You can see it wobbling and bobbling back and forth. I like it on the whole. It's not perfect, but it does celebrate the 25th anniversary of UFC with the Ultiman, which in itself makes a conversation piece. And what would you want a bobblehead like this for if not to be a conversation piece? You'd want people to come in, tap it on the head, ask you what it is, what the history of it is. And if you're a UFC fan, that's exactly what you're looking for. So I feel like this is 
a good product for a UFC fan. If you're somebody who is persnickety about details, you're probably going to want something that you either repaint yourself or make sure you get it out of the box and check the paintwork to make sure it's as good as you want. It's not perfect, but it's definitely what it advertises itself to be on the box. So again, for gratis, I'm not in any way, shape or form complaining. I'm just giving you my honest assessment of this Ultiman bobblehead figure. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and this look at the latest bobblehead that's available. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.